Number 55, calculate the molarity for each of the following solutions, and then we have letter A. In this case, they told us that we have 0.195 grams of cholesterol, which is C27H46O, and that's all in 0.1 liters of serum. And this is actually the average concentration of cholesterol in human serum. Cool. <laughs> um... In this case, they gave us a quantity of amount we have of our solute, and this is the liters, right? We just need to find the molarity. Well, what's the formula for molarity, guys? It is this one, right? I'm just gonna put it up in the upper right-hand corner here. Molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. More simply, it's just capital M, capital M for molarity all the time, equals moles divided by liters. So. I'm just going to write that out over here. This is the formula that we're going to be working with. In order to find a molarity, I need to have my moles and I need to have my liters. Did they give me any of those? Mm, they didn't give me a mole. They gave me a gram value, but they did give me the liters, right? So I actually know the bottom number, 0 0.100 liters. So before I do this formula, I actually need to find the moles. The only number that I didn't use is this one, right? So the first thing that I actually have to do is I have to convert the 0 0.195 grams of cholesterol, which is C27H46O, and I have to convert that into moles of C27H46O, big organic compound here. So how do I go from a gram of something to a mole of something. Well, we could do dimensional analysis, but there's a quick trick down here that I wrote for you guys. If you're starting off with grams, right, and you wanna go to moles, and it has to be of the same compound. X is labeling that you have the same compound or element. In this case, I'm going from the same compound or element, right? I'm going from cholesterol to cholesterol. So if I'm starting at grams and I wanna go to moles, all I do is I just take my gram value and I divide by my molecular weight. But the thing is, they didn't tell us the molecular weight, but that's why we got to find it. This is on the periodic table, PT, right? Periodic table, PT. So before I even do the conversion, I have to figure out the molecular weight of C27H46O. Molecular weight, molar mass, molecular mass, same thing. We just have to go to the... Um, periodic table. Just keep in mind that when you're finding the mass, right, we've done this time and time again, we have 27 Cs, 46 ox uh, hydrogens and one oxygen. So just make sure you do that in your calculations. So I'm going to go ahead and use my periodic table. You do yours and let's see if we get roughly the same answer. I'm going to use the exact values. So I got that. Okay, I did the hydrogens, and now I just need, whoop, hold on. I looked at that answer. I said that does not make any sense, so I'm just going to do it again. And then I have one oxygen, 16. So I roughly get 386.638, and that's grams per mole. Okay, so... Just like we said, we're going to take the grams and divide by the molecular weight. So let's go. 0 0.195 divided by 386.638, right? And this is grams. This is grams per mole. The grams cancel out, and that's why you're only left with mole. So if I just do that math, 0.195 divided by that answer, uh, three sig figs, 5.04 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's my moles of this C27H46O. And now I have the top number, this guy, 5.04 times 10 to the negative fourth moles. And now I'm ready to calculate my molarity. Big M equals the moles, which we just found, 5.04 times 10 to the negative fourth, all divided by 
the liters 0 0.100. And let's just do it. 5.04 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 0.1. Yeah, 5.04 times 10 to the negative three. Units for molarity is either capital M or since these units didn't cancel out, right? Mole divided by a liter. I, I can't cancel these. They're exactly, a, they're not the same. So I'm just going to leave them. Mole over liter. And that's it. Woohoo. Guys, what'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, but if not, that's okay. Maybe I'll get you on the next couple of lessons. Um, tell your friends, tell your classmates that this you know service exists. If they have chemistry questions, uh, we also have physics and math at the moment, so check those, those out, all right? I hope you guys have an awesome day. Let's keep studying hard. See you later. Bye-bye.